Hi guys, welcome to another episode. Today we're going to talk about the difference between vertical motions and lateral motions, um, how to develop them, and uh, what are the benefits um, to, for using the vertical motions rather than the lateral motions and the other way around. So the vertical motions are of course all those motions that develops vertically, for example like the wrist motion, French grip or, or finger motion, uh, push-pull, or even like for the bigger muscles, uh, arm motion both in French grip and German grip and so on. Um, so by vertical we mean all those motions that develop vertically, of course, and that go straight forward up and down, okay? Instead with lateral motions we, may, we mean all those motions that develops in a lateral way or more rounded way. For example, the molar technique is a perfect example where even if we um, speed it up, we, it develops in a lateral way with our elbow, but if we speed it up, we'll go all the way to the wrist, but still the main motion is lateral, not vertical. So it develops in a completely different way. Same thing we can say about the lower part of the body where we have like heel down, heel up, heel toe. These are all vertical motions. I want to make, um, to make clear that I'm talking about body motions and not the pedal or, or the stick. Okay, the stick will always develop in a vertical way and the pedal will always go up and down in a vertical way. But we can control our body and the pedal or the stick in a vertical or lateral way, okay? A lateral way of controlling the pedal is of course the swivel technique, for example. Okay, where our body moves laterally and not vertically. Of course, there is the up and down motion, but that's not, we don't do this and whoever does this, this is not a swivel, this is a heel up that then people kind of move the foot right and left for an like uncontrolled reason. But the swivel actually it's one stroke per side, okay? So because the injection it's lateral and not vertical. This would still be a vertical approach even though the foot is moving sideways. But this, it's literally it's a completely different way of creating the energy for the motion. So I, it, it's, it has to be clear so that when we educate our body to do certain motions, we know exactly what's happening and we have no doubts in, oh, I see that my foot is doing both things. Is it a vertical or a lateral motion? Because that will then make more sense for when we, uh, we are developing the motions and it's not just spasm and nervous things, but it's all actually under control. So the lateral motion for the foot would be the swivel technique, okay? So this is a, a very important thing to be aware of because in, that, in this way we already know how to educate our body from the very beginning, from, you know, uh, the, when we're building our technique, our grips,